Hi, I am the board game nerd, and I want to show you my idea of a zombie game, survival game. I call it the city of the dead. Uh, I haven't made the board yet, but I want to show you the figures. The game is, sh at the beginning, the game is only for two players. I will try to make, to, to can we play with two, three and four players. And these are the figures. Uh, these are four survivals. Everyone have a different weapon. There are two kinds of zombies the zombies without legs and zombies normal zombies and there are three special zombies i will talk about them in detail a, a little later so these are the four survivors everyone has a different weapon the first one has two guns the number four here and the arrow represents the number the spaces he can move on this side, 1x2 represents that when he shot with every weapon, he rolls two dice, but uh, separately for every weapon. He cannot roll the two dice when he shots. At the same time, he must roll separately. The second one has a rifle. The number 4 with an arrow represents the spaces he can move. And he, when he shot, you roll two dice. The third one has a sniper rifle. He can move four spaces. The symbol here represents that he has unlimited range. But he can shoot only when he shoots, you roll only one dice. And the symbol in the back represents that he's, uh, he's a sniper. The fourth one has a machine gun. He can roll only two spaces because when he moves, he must pick it up. And that is in time. So well, he, he needs time and he must uh, make a lot of moves. So he has only two, he can move only two spaces. When he shots, he rolls three dice. There are two kinds of zombies, as I said before. This is a zombie without legs, and this is a normal zombie. The difference bec between two of them is that the normal zombie can move seven squares, and the zombie without legs can move only five. These are the special zombies I have take talked about earlier. They're only free. Uh, at, now at the beginning they will be only free. I don't know if I will make lots more of them. Now, this is a big badass zombie. I didn't name him yet. The number six represents the number of squares he can move. And the three here in the back with the heart represents that he must be shot three times so he to die i didn't say but on the zombies i didn't write how much because they only have one life so well if they are shot that represents a direct hit in the head so well, they're they're dead the second one this is a another better zombie with long claws he can move only five squares and this sign, the symbol in the back represents that he, he can leap. So well, if you want to, to play with it, when he attacks the survival, he can move five times like this, or he can jump. Because uh, the soldiers will be in, in Overwatch, like in Space Hawk. And when he moves, the soldier was shot. But if he use his special ability, he can leap. That means he will not be able to jump because, because he's jumping out of his range. The third one is a 
kind of a fat zombie. He moves six squares and has two lights. Now, at the leaper zombie, if you notice, I didn't write how many lives he had. He has only one life because he can't leap. So this is only the the start of a game. I didn't make it the board. I want to make civilians. The board will not be too big. I wanted to make a a city, and uh, somewhere in the city, one of the um, one of the buildings will be the survivors' headquarters, HQ, and uh, they will be able to move from building to building. And when you move from a building to building, there will be a separate board that will represent the building. It would be a police station or a uh, sorry or a hospital and that I will represent separately so if you are interested in the game of you if you're interested about the game stay tuned to see my next episode I hope that I can make it early now the the pieces of the players it made about a, a cap, it's a bottle cap, a white sticker, and I draw it on them with marker. So, this is only the beginning of the game.